Today's tutorial is going to show you how to use a variety of blending techniques. We're going to try blending with your finger, a Kleenex or tissue, even a square of toilet paper will do, a Q-tip, and if you have a blending stump, which I'm guessing most of us don't have at home, but I'll show you how that works too. For this lesson, I'm going to show you blending with a regular number two pencil and some colored pencil as well. I'm going to assume that you don't have a full set of artist pencils, but if you do have them, you can try blending hard or soft pencil together. I'm gonna start off by making some marks on my paper to practice blending. So go ahead on your paper. And we're gonna do one for finger, tissue, cotton swab or q-tip, and I'm going to add a fourth one for my blending stump. I'm going to come back over and just do some light scratchy marks over the top of those. And I'm going to do the same thing also with colored pencil, just to show you that you can blend colored pencil as well. And I am not using a great quality paper here. I'm using just regular old printer paper. Nothing fancy. All I'll say is that if you have nicer quality artist paper, the blending is definitely going to look better. But I think it's important for artists like you and myself to remind ourselves that artists are good at being flexible and just using what we've got. All right, so we've got some stuff set up. Let's start first and try. We'll label this one, finger, this one, tissue, q-tip, and stump, if you've got one. So this is gonna get your finger dirty. You're gonna take one of your finger, you could do two as well. I always think it's easier for me to use my pointer finger, and I'm going to blend with my finger getting that graphite really pressed into the paper. This paper doesn't have a lot of texture on it, so there's not a lot of pressing the graphite for me to do. And some of that has transferred into a little shine on my finger. I'm gonna just wipe that off on my apron, and I'm gonna go down now and blend the colored pencil, same way. You've got a little bit of oil on the tips of your hands, so that oil that's in your on your fingers combined with pressing the graphite in this case, and down here with the colored pencil, there's wax in colored pencils. That's one of the reasons you don't want to put a colored pencil in an electric sharpener because it has wax in it that will build up, but that wax is what allows it to be blended. All right, so that is blending with the finger. Let's move on. Trying the same thing with tissue. For tissue, I like to wrap the tissue around my finger Tissue is great if you don't want to get your hands dirty. Yeah, that's really, it does a lot lighter blending and there's a lot more of it on the tissue. Now I'm going to blend the colored pencil and I don't need to throw that away. Look, just get to a new clean little spot. Rewrap your finger. And rub to blend. Nice. All right, you can see some of the pigment come off on the tissue. Next up, Q-tip. Q-tip is gonna give you a lot of control because it's so small compared to the tip of your finger. I guess not if you have really, really little hands, but definitely smaller than my fingers. Okay, that's a nice even transition there. And next, I'm gonna use the other side for the colored pencil. All right, and last up, the stump. This one's definitely very even. It's like good for blending without picking up too much of the graphite from the paper. All 
All right, and there we have it. Those are four different ways to blend. And you can achieve a blending effect with just a basic number two pencil and your finger, tissue paper, Q-tip, or a blending stump. And don't forget, colored pencils can blend just as beautifully because they've got the wax in them that allows them to be blended.